something a bit different, but I think it's very important. And, and Roger talked about it as well, about the metrics and how it's important. The data is important in order to know uh, what to do. So it's just about benchmarking in general. So what, what is benchmarking? It's, it's a process to uh, discover best standards for performance uh, seen in a specific department, company, uh, even a competitor, uh, or even a completely different industry. But we think it's important uh, to create added value to your business by ben benchmarking. Why? Because most of the SMEs uh, we talk to on the phone, they don't have any benchmark or very little information to provide. So they're a bit lost. I think the most, uh, the central reason of that is that they believe they, they are totally different than a competitor or another company that is exactly the same. So they, they don't want to em emulate actually and, uh, and compare the metrics. So when they're willing to make the transformation in the business or scale up, they're having a hard time assessing what, sh what should I do? Should I outsource? Should I uh, retain staff, hire in-house or use automation tools to implement? So they have a rough idea, but it's, it's still uh, very blur. So that's why we uh, definitely advocate uh, <laughs> to, uh, yeah, using some metrics, uh, some data that can, uh, that can uh, help your organization scale up and find the right solution um, quicker. So here we have a few items uh, that we think should be a benchmark. Uh, the level of um, efficiency, so this is more related to the number of invoices uh, to be processed by, by the AP officer. The effectiveness, slightly different, that is uh, related to the uh, performance of your employees. Are they performing well or not? So that you have uh, um, like performance meetings for that. Uh, standardized process. Here again, most of the time, departments or business units, they work with different processes. And the data is not centralized, so uh, it, it's a waste uh, of time. It, it, it's not very efficient either in, the, in, in that part. Then the level of management uh, required. Uh, yeah, team lead, uh, manager, uh, approvers, uh, how many steps. Uh, also, it can be related to the process. So th that's also something that can be uh, very uh, interesting to know in order to find uh, the best solution. And finally, if you have... Uh, some automation tools or BI tools already in place. Uh, is it really beneficial? Is it the right tool for you? Do you have a level of quality uh, control over the software? And all the, the, those, uh, those questions are, are very uh, interesting. The answer obviously is uh, uh, very beneficial for, for your, uh, your company. And if you want to work with a, an outsourcing provider, at least with us, we usually uh, work uh, very much in that uh, aspect of the benchmarking. So in the, in the next slide, I won't go over uh, everything in detail, but you just have an example for the efficiency because I think it's the easiest one to, uh, to, do the, the, to calculate the metrics and to, to do the KPI with. So the, don't pay too much attention to the numbers. It's more the logic that's behind. Why? Because if you are, have a, retail, a wholesale business, or a consulting business, you probably don't have the same amount of uh, invoices to be processed uh, throughout the month. So uh, it, it's just, it's more of an indicator. So if you're in a specific uh, industry, don't, don't necessarily stick to that. But here, for instance, you're a small business, consider as a small business, so you generate 1 million uh, US dollars or annual revenue, and you have uh, maybe three AP officers, uh, which is according to McKinsey, the average um, called a medium efficiency. If you have four or more, yeah, your efficiency might not be top notch. And on the contrary, if you have only two, it might be uh, super um, efficient. So this this is typically the the, the type of question that you need to uh, to ask yourself you know the direction uh, you need to go to. Same here for the number of uh, invoices per uh, year per uh, account payable employee. So high efficiency would be around 15,000, 10,000 is medium and low efficiency for, for 5,000. Uh, so 
if you compare with the competition with um, the, the pastures or uh, record in, within different uh, departments, different employees, but you can have some data that actually that is actually very interesting to uh, what can I say to interpret and to actually build up some um, records, some reports, you know, documents uh, can always look back to those data and uh, it's definitely interesting to see how your company is evolving. Uh, basically, uh, I don't want to be uh, it's just the same thing uh, again and again, but um, basically here you have all the AP uh, benefits for your business. Obviously, if, uh, the outsourcing process, you can choose the task you want to outsource. It doesn't need to be the end-to-end -end process, so you can customize that. Automation, for sure. Um, we believe that if you work with an uh, outsourcing provider, needs to have some knowledge in automation. Being used in um, like working with automation tools, uh, RPAs, uh, at least the most famous one uh, in the market. So uh, that, that's very important, I think. Performance management, that I would say depends on the clients. Some clients, they, they want to do it because otherwise they think they lose the control of uh, what's going on. And some, they really don't care. They want us to handle uh, internally with our manager for the performance management. But cost savings, we talk about that. It's a no-brainer. More resources, you can ramp up or ramp down the team according to your needs. Uh, accounting system integration here again, if you have the right tool uh, or model that can be implemented uh, to optimize your department, that's also something that, sh um, that should be knowledgeable. Identifying errors, BI tools, uh, we also have a BI uh, departments, uh, a department for that. And uh, yeah, ticketing management with some clients, we actually uh, handle the whole ticketing process to receive some requests and we dispatch uh, to the right person could be on our side and on the client side. So that's also uh, done with some of our clients. So basically, just to, to wrap it up, we can say that technology, automation, and manual uh, input, manual process should come along together. If you want to optimize your um, operations, save costs, it, it should be a combination of both. Uh, whether you're a small business or a big business, it's, it's more complex than that. Uh, the benchmarking can help to identify uh, deeper, but it's definitely a, a, a mix of, of both. And working with a BPO provider, um, I, I strongly suggest that you ask their level of automation, if they use automation, if they can help integrate, uh, maybe with a consultant, with some of our clients, we have consultant uh, directly on site um, that can help also.